a teardown of this Hoover, genuine Hoover. There we go, there's our badging. It's the Jovis um, Cyclean, 7.2 volts. It's the dry version. There is uh, one that you can do wet pickup as well, but this is the dry one. It's pretty old. It's got a HEPA filter. And off its dock, there's the simple dock. And this is how it looks. Quite nice, but quite unwieldy. The battery's begun to degrade slightly now, so you've got the uh, four levels here. And on full charge, I've only got three lights rather than the full four. The bottom one is the red to charge light. So a quick listen. So as you just saw there, that, that top light there, the max, uh, is just briefly on and flickers off pretty quickly. And it's not quite as powerful as it once was. So I'm going to open it up and see what the batteries are. And if I can recondition them by, you know, doing a charge or recharge cycle, I'll do so. Or maybe look to replace. I mean, it's pretty good. It's um, it's not bad for pickup. Here's our rating plate. It's the SJ72 DB4001. 7.2 volts DC, 50 watts. And it's all right. It's pretty good. It's got this little nozzle here. So for super quick pickups in the car or just around the home, it isn't too bad. Let's open it up. So you just press these two tabs and this section comes away. So there's our fan just in there. It's got this weird kind of shape. So obviously it still works without that bit on. And then here's our bin collection. And this is the filter. So you've got a two stage twist to unlock. God, it's a bit stiff. There we go, there's our kind of mesh to capture big stuff. And there's our HEPA. Looks a bit sorry for itself at the moment. But uh, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Just locks into position. It's quite nice because it's got a rubber seal around here. So it's pretty good for stopping any dirt getting into the motor, which is, you know, necessary for this. And there's our collection bin. It's got a flap just down here to stop dirt falling out, although that can be fouled by the odd label or whatever. Can you see inside there? Okay, just a crude flap. Uh, it's a fairly big bin, really, because, you know, there's plenty of space in there. Stick that back on. Uh, excuse all the dust. But under here, we've got a simple litter picker just here. And then we've got this brush effect this brush assignment it's okay it doesn't really do a lot because unfortunately what happens is with this first couple of brushes it seems to move itself back in again so it doesn't lock into position very well um, but yeah it's okay and then you've got your normal nozzle there but I find adding that is certainly much of an improvement so you've got your sharper kind of spout there oh and and I've just spilled all the dirt out. But that's fine, because we can do a little pickup. And in here, this is just a wall mountable bracket. There's our charging pins. They locate just there. Um, yeah, not much else to say about that, really. Eight watt charger. So I'm gonna pick up my lovely mess now, and then we'll open it up, and I'll just see if I can get these batteries refurbed somehow or replace them just to keep it going So to open this up, it looks like it's just a few crosshead screws. One there, one really deep in there, and then possibly a couple here. Whether it comes apart nicely, I don't know, but we'll have a look. 
I don't expect there to be much inside there apart from the battery pack and the motor. Right, I can reach it, that's good. I'm using completely the wrong screwdriver for this. I'm using a uh, just a flathead, but it fits. Right. Obviously, we're going to have that seal being ripped, but since this is I don't know six, seven years old, I don't think it matters. Right. So there's our screws undone. So I can just about see in there, look, we've got some, looks like double A's. There must be a few of those, four or six or something, but can I get in without destroying the whole thing? I think this comes off the top, this weird Star Warsy type thing. But really trying not to break it. <laughs> Although, had a few battle wounds in the past. Okay, so a little bit on the brutal side, but I've managed to get this cover piece off. It's clipped in, which is horrendous. I think they're kind of almost like one-time clips, but there we have our naked underbody and crude switch because it has this kind of decorative covering over the top. So that sits in there, and then we've got our LEDs. And as we can now find, we've got the extra one, two, three, four, five screws here. So let's get them open and then we'll get the clamshell apart. Right, how are we getting on? Here we go. Ta da! Right, so let's put all these screws into the top so we know where they come from. I think they're the same size, but there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Slightly smaller one there. I think that's probably on that side there, isn't it? So, and here is the business end. So, what have we got? So we've got a spring here. That's for your button, which you press there. That just lives inside there. We've got a circuit board, so this will include all the charging, LED illumination, and power distribution at the back. There's our fan motor in lovely cream and here's the motor itself and then finally the battery pack so it is double A's nickel metal hydrides 1300 milliamp hours classics so there we go 7.2 volts and yeah that's all there is in there so they are replaceable because you can just source your own and desolder them because they're going to be just probably soldered together with tabs and then you can resolder them and yeah put new ones back in of course and then what's down here it looks like some sort of a sensor must be an overload or a, might be a oh there we go it's a fuse can you see that fuse there? Look. Yeah. It's quite nice. Seems a bit overkill for a battery power, but there we go. So that lives in there next to the fan. So let's have a listen to it going. <laughs> Moves a surprising amount of air, just considering there's just that turbine in there in the middle. But at least I've seen inside now, seen what the batteries are, so 
yeah, I probably, hmm, don't know, a bit old school these ones, aren't they? So I don't know if I'll be able to do much with them. There's no branding on them. No name. So I think it might have to be replace them. And yeah, with some new ones, maybe higher capacity. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? It's just got all that annoying soldering to do because they're normally got um, tabs between them just to link them up. If I peel this back, there we go, look. You can just see the, the tabs. So they're always a pain to get together because it's not just difficult to solder onto batteries. But that's what's inside there. Apart from that, yeah, there's not a lot in there, is there? Uh, yeah, so there's a, there is a chip. Some big resistors at the back here. No branding as such, I can see, but uh, yeah, it's good to see inside, isn't it? While we're in, we might as well have a look at the circuit board. There we go, it's got 7020 MB on it. Chip there, a few capacitors, transistors, etc. On this main board, and then on this board, there's our two big resistors and the switch. I have to say though, it is really clean in here. There is no dust at all in here because of course this is where it exhausts. Maybe a tiny bit just up here, but overall, yeah, that's not covered in dust. I'd expect this to have, you know, been literally covered in microscopic bits because there's the back of the turbine, back of the fan unit, but you know, it's, it's pretty clean. So that filter, that HEPA filter they call it, is doing very well. So quite impressed with that. So that is the Hoover Cyclean. Pretty neat. So I don't know how the water one would have been. And that one must have had some sort of a, I don't know, enclosure to a different bin so that the water would have trickled down the bin rather than going straight into the, the fan here. And there's our charging pins just there. So charging comes in on the, the kind of purple and black. They go up in there somewhere. So the batteries have got this little foam protection. And that just lives in there just to stop them being uh, being damaged. So quite nice. So there we go. That's just the look inside. I'll have a little fiddle about maybe with these and see if I've got enough spare, some better ones. Maybe maybe I'll take them apart and condition them. I don't know, but uh, yeah. First stage was getting it open, so at least we've seen inside. Thanks for watching.